All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install Libre NMS on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm just running a newer version of uh, the Raspberry Pi image. So, uh, I, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for all this, all these commands uh, that we can just uh, copy and paste. So we're just going to get into root so we don't have to uh, keep typing sudo in. But uh, no, I'm just going to copy and paste these this information here. <clears throat> we got a few uh, dependencies here to install. So, it'll take a little bit. Now, this is just a Raspberry Pi 3. I could be running this for the purpose of this video on my 4, but didn't think about it. So, we'll make do. Alright, so that's some. We'll go ahead and install these guys. Alright, so now we'll run some more here. And then we can move on to adding the user, downloading the uh, software, setting some permissions. And uh, installing it, set the time zone, and so on. All right, so now that we have that installed, let's set up some uh, username here. Then we will cd into the following, and we're going to download the software <clears throat> all right so now we need to set up some uh, permissions here so we'll just copy a couple lines here one at a time just to make sure nothing craps out. <clears throat> and now we're going to log in. So now that we are under here now, we are going to put that in and set back. And wait, this will take a few, so I'm just going to pause. All right, so this is what it'll look like when it's installing here. So we'll just let it uh, finish up, and I'll be back. All right, so now we are installed, so let me just clear that. Then we can just type in exit to log out of that. So we'll go back to here. So now we need to edit the time zone. So let me back out here. If we go to the following file, then if you're using nano, we can do a control W and we can just type in zone, hit enter. Then that'll take us down to where we need to be. So we'll do a space. Then let me drag over this website that I'm using to make sure we get the correct time zone. And I have a link in, uh, on my website for this, so you won't have to worry about trying to search it out. But 
when you come to this website, uh, let me see here. The page before this, you'll want to click on America or whatever your location is, then click your time zone. So, we're just going to find mine. Here it is. We'll right click, paste, backspace that. Then we'll remove that guy. Then. We will do a control X, Y, and enter. Then we have another file that we got to do the same thing. So we'll do a control W, zone, paste in the same. Oops, that was a fail. Paste in the same uh, time zone. And we'll remove the uh, symbol there. Control, X, Y, and enter. Then we're done with that web page. Then we need to get into the following file. As you can see up here. And we need to add a few things right under this line here so we'll right click paste voila control x y and enter then we can enable the db restart Next, we are going to log in to SQL, and we're going to run these commands one at a time. You can do it, I think, all at once, but it might be a little bit better. Now, the next command here, you'll want to edit the uh, password. So, but I'm just going to let mine set at password. But as you can see here, you'll want to replace the password to something different. Then we'll just finish here. Then we'll do a flush. Then we can just do a exit to get out of that guy. So now we need to copy a few things. Then we'll get into another file. Then we need to change the www to to the following. Then if we scroll down, we need to change the group the user then we need to scroll down a little bit more and find this line and I'm just going to do a uh, control K to delete it. Then we can just paste this guy in like such. Control X, Y, and enter. Let's go ahead and clear that guy. Now we need to uh, create a file. As you can see. Then we're going to paste in some information here. Then we can go up and change the server name to whatever you feel like. So we can just 
we could just call this pi just for something. And then we'll do a control X, Y, and enter. We're done with that. <clears throat> now we need to delete the default, rewrite. And we'll do a few things here. We may have to run this guy here. So we'll just All right, we might have to restart the guy again. So now we should be okay. So now we can enable the uh, LNMS, copy some things, and we'll copy the SNM PD. Then we will go through and edit this file here and we can replace this and we can just name it whatever you want then we'll just do a control X Y and enter clear that <clears throat> now we got a few things here to run we'll just run these one at a time We can copy this into the uh, crone. Then we can rotate the old logs so we don't get uh, run out of space. So, other than that, we should be good. So, let me get my web page up here and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. I figured out my problem that I was having on my. Uh, on this uh, show you here right here I added a line that says change server name and obviously that didn't like that so I'll remove that but anyway back to the website so now I just went to the IP address of my pie here and it's good that we have some green so we'll just click on configure database. Now, this is the uh, page where I have the most problems trying to get past this because it seems like it don't want to work for me. So anyway, we'll let everything the same and I'll put in my password. Like I said earlier, I'll just let it go at password. And see, it's saying about the time. So let's check the time zone on the pie. Wrong button. All right, so I just did a reboot on the Pi, refreshed my screen here, clicked on the uh, check the credential, it worked fine. So now we'll build it. So we'll just sit back and wait. This doesn't take too long once it starts.
but uh, we're not going to wait on it. All right, so now that the the DB is built, we'll click on this guy. Then uh, we'll uh, log in. Then the password. We can let the email empty. Add user. Click on the check and validate. We will sign in again. This just takes a few. All right, so we are logged in. And uh, this is the overall. So uh, I'll do a part two on how to add and do some more things in here. But uh, at least we're up and running. We're logged in. The hard part's over, and uh, we'll uh, do a part two on how to add devices, which obviously ain't too hard, but uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.